Welcome back. Right, so we briefly explained what the traveling salesman problem is. We mentioned that we have, uh, and we briefly also spoke about combinatorial optimi optimization, and we mentioned that, okay, we have a finite set of possible solutions, and then the idea here is to find a solution, one solution from those. We mentioned that we can, for example, list uh, all possible tours here for the five cities that we had and then we compute the distance of each of those tours and then we choose the tour that gives us the smallest distance now um, this approach that I briefly explained is known as the brute force approach as we have seen one method to find the optimal tour or the optimal solution is to consider all the possible routes or paths right this is called exhaustive search because all combinations are tempted or tested so what we do is we make a list of all possible routes or tours as you saw before we calculate the total distance of each tour by adding up or summing up the distances between consecutive cities and then we choose the tour with the smallest total distance so far everything is nice and easy but what about the number of tours right so we had five cities and five is not really a large number but what if the uh, number of cities is large and when we say large it doesn't have to be in thousands or in millions if we just say for example 25 or, th or 30 cities how many tours do you think how many different and distinct tours of course do you think we can have if we have 25 or 30 cities well let's investigate uh, 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 what that what that turns out to be so the number of tours uh, to calculate that let, let, let's assume that we have n cities right the number of all possible tours is n factorial this n exc exclamation just in case you're not familiar with this <coughs> this is pronounced n factorial as you can see here and this is the product of n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way down to 1 so we multiply n by uh, the next number down so if n was 5 then we say 5 times 4 times 3 times all the way down to 1 right n times minus 1 times minus n minus 2 n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way down to 1 now the result of this multiplication process is the number of all possible tools or the number of, of, of pos all possible parts right n factorial now what happens if we want to reduce the number of, of course of these tours and let's say we assume that we fix the first city so we'll just always leave from the same city right what happens then is the changes will only be in the n minus one cities these kind of changes in order of these permutations these are known as permutations will only be in the remaining n minus one cities because uh, cities because we have fixed the first city so if we say for example we will always leave from Paris then Paris will be fixed and then we'll have Lille, Nancy, Lyon, La Rochelle or maybe Nancy, Lille, La Rochelle, Lyon or maybe La Rochelle, Nancy, Lyon, Lille and all and so on and so forth right so the first city is fixed so if we fix the first city then we will have n minus 1 factorial now another issue here or another thing that we can uh, look at is each tour will appear twice one time in one direction another time in the opposite direction and the total distance is going to be the same what that means is if we mention as he, uh, as we mentioned here if we fix the first city then one possible tour will be paris lille nancy lyon la rochelle another uh, another um, um <coughs> another another tour can be the same the same one but in the opposite direction, right? So if we go, for example, from La Rochelle to Lyon, Lyon to Nancy, Nancy to Lille, then we will have the exact same distance because it's the same route, but in just in the opposite uh, direction. And this can give us the advantage of cutting down the number of possible tours in half, right? We cut it by half, we divide by two because as we mentioned, we will have the exact same distance is just the same route in the opposite direction what that means is the number of possible tours for n cities is going to be n minus 1 factorial divided by 2 right so the n minus 1 came from 
uh, fixing the first city I mentioned only these will be changed and then the division by two as we mentioned that we have the route for example from Lille to Nancy to Lyon to La Rochelle we will have La Rochelle to Lyon to Nancy to Lille the same route but in the opposite direction and it will be it will have the same traveling distance right that's why the number of all possible tools now is cut down to n minus 1 factorial we divide that by 2 so if we have our calculator then we can for example run a small experiment and see how many tools that we're going to have for example if the number of cities is 5 6 7 8 9 all the way if you notice here if the number of cities is 25 then that will be 24 factorial the result of that we, we, we divide it by 2 if we look at a calculator so 25 minus 1 is 24 I'm sorry 24 factorial we divide that by 2 and then as you see the number here is the same 3.1022 times 10 to the power 10 to power 23 okay so this is the number of possible tours um, or the number of, uh, of yeah of possible tours if the number of cities is large and as we mentioned before when we say large it doesn't have to be thousands or millions as you can see just having 25 cities the number of tours is extremely large now can we go through all these tours and uh, check their distances and then choose the one with the smallest or smallest distance in real time in feasible time we're going to find out in the next video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time